Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Jaden and today I want to talk to you about making your first YouTube video. But before we get into that, I want to say thank you for all my new subscribers. I'm so happy you're here and make sure to click the notification bell so you don't miss a video. Let's get into it. When you're going to make your YouTube channel, a really important thing to do is pick your niche. So your niche is what's going to be the basis of all your videos. You want to make sure that your niche is something that you are interested in because after a while it could cause burnout and a lack of video ideas. So make sure it is something that you maybe do in your everyday life or something you are very passionate about. A really important thing to do is to research that niche once you've decided what it is going to be. And the research you're going to want to do is researching other content creators within that niche and try and find out what makes you different from the others. And this way, these are things that you can highlight in your videos. And this process actually will go on throughout your YouTube career because your viewers will comment, give suggestions, tell you what they don't like, and that is how you can upgrade your videos and make them more enjoyable for your audience. Now whether you're doing YouTube to eventually make money or just for a hobby, I think it is really important to learn about the YouTube algorithm. So my goals currently are to get monetized. So my goal is to hit 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 watch hours. So with this, you want to look into things like keywords. Keywords are so important when you're looking to title your video. I use an app called TubeBuddy and I downloaded it on my computer and I just use the free version and it helps me to pick the best titles that are going to be ranked high in search for my videos. So I will show you what that looks like during my video making process. So once you have TubeBuddy downloaded on your computer, you're going to want to go to YouTube and go to TubeBuddy. That icon will pop up right there and you are going to want to go to Keyword Explorer. And this is where you can try different things with your titles to see how they are ranked. So let's do how to make a YouTube video. So with this, you can see that the overall score is very good, but it breaks it down. So in search volume, it is rated excellent. The competition is fair and the optimization strength is excellent. So this would be a good video to make, obviously, but the competition is a little harder. So let's try another title. Let's try Drag Race with me. This is about the same. It is high search volume, competition is fair, and the optimization strength is excellent. So you can play around with a bunch of different words that could become your title as you want, and that is how I pick my YouTube titles. So that brings me to my next point, which is going to be the description box. So the description box kind of ties in with keywords, and what I mean by that is those keywords are what is going to help you get YouTube to recommend your videos more often. So what you want to do is add those keywords into your description box so that, again, brings up your chance to be recommended. But you don't want to copy it word for word and make it seem like you're just loading your description box with a bunch of keywords. And that also brings me into another thing, which are your tags. Try and find some good tags on your video. Actually, TubeBuddy will help you with this as well. Um, like my first video, I tagged nursing, clinical bag, nursing student, things like that. Things are related. If you want to think of it as like a hashtag for an Instagram post, think of it that way. But again, TubeBuddy is something big that really helps me with my video making process. So I really recommend it. And this also brings me into the length of your description. So doing that will bring your audience more interest in your videos. And with that, again, I like to use TubeBuddy and, you know, see how I could rank in search. But another helpful thing that could lead you to another income source in the future is affiliate marketing. So if you notice in my last video description, I added links to what I showed you in my video. Now, as I don't make any money from them currently, there is something called affiliate marketing. And what you do there is you can put the links that you recommended in your video or your description, you can do whatever, and you can actually make money if people purchase from your links. 
And that is something I can go more in depth about in another video if you guys would like it. So please comment down below if you would like to hear more about that. So another really important thing, but it is not mandatory. You don't have to do this, but I recommend getting a website. So with a website, that gives you another way to connect with your audience. But something that's also great about it is you could also use affiliate marketing on there. And that is something I can also talk about in another video using AdSense and everything like that. But with that, if the YouTube plat platform ever goes down or anything like that, you can still connect with your audience through your website. And if you ever decide to maybe have merchandise or anything like that, that is somewhere that you can sell it. So for my website, I used an app called GoDaddy and I was able to purchase my domain and make it my own. So no one has my domain. You can pay a little more to protect your website, but I really think it is great. It is not that expensive. I think I paid like $10 to buy my domain and then I paid a little extra. I think I'm currently paying like $14 a month to protect my site, but you can pay as much as you want or as little as you want. It is really a great tool. It gives you a template and it gives you themes. When it comes to creating, another thing that you're going to want to do is really focus on your thumbnails. So a lot of people just take screen captures from their videos for your thumbnails, but if you want your video to stand out, I suggest that you actually set up your camera and take some actual pictures on your camera that you can edit in the future for a thumbnail. And that will make it more appealing and you would more likely get someone to click on your video with a really nice edited thumbnail. Another thing I want to talk about is Epidemic Sound. Epidemic Sound is a great app where you have such a wide variety of music and sound effects to look through and it does not go against any copyright things with YouTube. So that makes it so all that music you know is safe and great to use. So that is a great tool for me because I don't wanna have to worry that I have copyrighted songs in my videos or sound effects. So I really recommend using Epidemic Sound. So another thing I wanna add is reminding your viewers to subscribe to your channel. This will make them more likely to actually subscribe to you and come back to watch more videos. So always include that in your videos. It can be in the beginning, in the end, middle, or all of it. The last thing I wanna talk about is getting comfortable on camera. And that is something I'm still currently working on, um, but one recommendation that I got from a other content creator was to film yourself doing everyday things so it becomes like an everyday thing, it's not as awkward anymore. So like, make breakfast and talk to your camera. And you don't have to post that video, it's just for your practice, but that comfort will also come over time. So that is all I have for today. I know it wasn't a whole big information packed video, but these are the things that I use to make my first video in my YouTube channel. And I think it is more successful than it would have been when I used these things. So I really recommend it and I wanna say thank you so much for watching. Remember to like if you like this video and comment down below any further video suggestions. And remember to subscribe. Bye.